Start the day out here. Got some spinning gear today. Using a little football Ned here. It's an eighth ounce with a Z-Man little finesse green pumpkin crawl on there. We've gotten some rain the past couple days. So the river's it's got some stain to it again. I just checked out Penn's Creek and it's Pretty high and muddy, so it's a matter of time before the banks, the river here, start to get muddy. Just gonna go with the finesse approach. There's one. There we go. Not a giant, but at least we didn't get skunked. Here we go, little guy. This past couple of days have been uh, mid 40s, close to 50. And after today, it's gonna get cold again. So I'm hoping smallies will start eating up. Well, that's how it happens sometimes. Snap off rigs. So I'm gonna try this little jig here. I'll leave links in the description too, but it's from a guy named David who sent me some to try. And this is a melting point lures little spear tail on there. It's garlic scented. Let's give this little jig here a try. Same spot, a little bit bigger. There we go, a jig there. These aren't giants, but definitely feeding up. Got a little black dot on his back there. there go. Another bronze back. Nice and golden color. Alright, so far so good. And the way I fish this. I just reel it real slow. Let it fall to the bottom. Close my bail. And then just keep enough tension on my line that I can still feel the bottom. And just slowly drag it. Every once in a while I might give a little pop, a little, little jiggle. But I'm primarily just trying to keep it, keep it subtle. So like I said, with the water being so cold, everything in the water is not going to be moving all erratically. Alright, one. That's a decent one, too. Nice. I was hoping, I was hoping we'd start feeding up here. Ooh, getting me all muddy, dude. Go, let me rinse her off. It's just a freaking mud fest down here. There we go, on the jig, another decent one. I said this is exactly what I was hoping for. Last warm day before it gets cold, get these smallies feeding up and eating. 
That's a solid fish right there. I don't have my scale with me. That's definitely pushing three pounds. There she goes. The last fish got me completely muddy. It's alright, at least we're catching fish. And I like to use like an eighth ounce, something light. That way it's not digging into the bottom. And I just found out the Smalley's Lake said eighth ounce. A lot more. I mean, I have caught them on like quarter ounce. 3 sixteenths the eighth ounce is definitely my go-to so these this water in this area is not very deep like this hole I'm fishing right now is probably maybe three four feet deep Guys, hammering him over there. He's been here like two minutes. Just caught two chunks. The boat's about sunk too. Oh, he just got hammered and I missed one right there. fish a creek chub a river chub all right well it's been a few hours since I caught that last fish there that little river chub Decided to come back out before dark. Gonna use just a football 1 8 ounce Ned with a Z Man TRD crawl on there, finesse crawl. So it's something small, something snackable for these smallies. Let's see if we can find a couple more. I like these exposed hooks because your hookups are so much better, but you get snagged on a lot of things. So we'll see how long I can keep this bait on. For those of you watching the video waiting for the boat to be bailed, still not bailed out yet. There's a fish. It's not a bad one. go that's a decent one love the black outlines around the fins there absolutely choked that all right let's let them go see if we can find his cousins and brothers and sisters nice you saw where I cast it. I was only about five feet off the bank up there. Let's try this side over here. Again, the name of the game in the wintertime, cold water. Even early, early spring too. Late winter. Just go slow. Slow is key. 
Because if your bait looks unnatural, fish aren't even going to want to mess around with it. If anything, it'll probably just spook them away. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video here. But I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> I hope you can take some tips from this. If you get out, like I said, this winter, start fishing. So these tips should help you get on some smallies. So go finesse, go slow. But please like this video. Please comment. If you're not a subscriber, I ask that you please subscribe. But I'll see you guys soon. Stay fishing and stay anchored. Oh,